Hey YouTube, uh, welcome back to the uh, Average Joes of Arizona uh, YouTube channel. Um, this is part two of the uh, summary of the uh, Iron Rock Off-Road 4-inch Critical Path lift kit that I installed on the WJ uh, a few months back. And part one deals with basically just the, it's just a summary, I didn't, do, I wasn't able to do a detailed uh, uh, install on it. And this is just showing the what came out of that lift, how, how the vehicle uh, uh, test drove, the uh, articulation on the axles. Uh, what you're seeing here is the pictures that uh, tried to, I went back to the same spot uh, that I did with the uh, vehicle prior to the lift and uh, if you notice the uh, the articulation on the uh, wheels are substantial compared to the lift that was on it um, again as you see there that picture there with the uh, right front uh, tire compressed all the way into the wheel well and the uh, passenger tire uh, fully drooped out uh, pretty pleased with the lift overall uh, this was the first test run after we got everything tightened up and, and buttoned down. Uh, took it down the road, so I didn't want to go too crazy on it. I uh, was just going slow here, just kind of, just to see how it, uh, how it would flex, how the uh, lift would work. And right there, as you see it right there, it's, uh, it's kind of full extension. And the other spot... This, that's the exact same spot I went with the uh, lift with the vehicle uh, that was a stock lift it had that cheap budget boost on two inch lift on it and uh, as you can see in that video there part of that lift there that silver tube is an extension I'm, I don't know the exact name of it maybe a spring retention tube uh, but that's there so the spring does not fall out during full flex like it is there as you can see I was wiggling it uh, without that tube the, the springs gonna fall out so uh, that's built into it they expect it to flex that much and that's why they have that uh, retention there um, and if you see on the this side of the uh, the passenger rear passenger side if you remember back in part one uh, the tire was completely off the ground. Um, the rear tire in this same spot, it was completely off the ground, about six, in, six to eight inches. Uh, so overall, really pleased with this lift, the way it uh, flexes, the way it moves. You can see the articulation there. It just uh, uh, looks like it's really gonna be a good lift. Just gonna have to uh, continue to tweak it, um, you know, keep the bolts tightened down. Um, you know, after running it a couple hundred miles, uh, just make sure that the bolts, they got to retighten it, get under there and, and tighten it down. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just really pleased with it and the full extension on there. You know, one thing I haven't, maybe I'll go back to that spot and measure how much flex that has there. Yeah, not much to say. Uh, the only thing I did run into, uh, which you'll see here shortly, is uh, after after I put on the uh, the kit, went and got a little bit bigger tires. The, the tires are about 29 inches, the, the stock ones. I uh, went to more of a, about a 32 inch tire. I forget the metric size. I'll have to run out and post that here. Uh, a little later but uh, as you can see those are the new tires on there on the stock rims and uh, I did end up having clearance issues on the front fender uh, when I turned there was no offset on these wheels they were just 17 inch factory wheels uh, and there was no offset on them so uh, you know like I said I had the uh, had clearance issues you'll see on this tire right here uh, where it was uh, it did rub uh, slightly uh, rubbed backing backing up and turning uh, it would catch catch that lip there it was tearing in the uh, fender well so 
The only option I had to was to replace the uh, front fender, which unfortunately was not in the budget at the time. Uh, front fender on that is going to be about $1,000 for a uh, decent front fender and just was not in the budget. So, like, uh, I hated to do it, but I had to. So, uh, you'll, you'll see later in here, uh, I did do, I trimmed that, that front bumper out later down the road probably get a, a metal uh, a metal bumper that put a winch in but uh, as it sits right now I just had to get rid of that clearance issue so I did trim along in this area here um, came out okay I mean it looks like it's trimmed basically nothing fancy uh, and like I said one, one thing that did help uh, is I changed out the factory rims. Uh, went and got the tires. I was looking for the, the right rims to get. So these factory rims did not have any back spacing. Uh, these are the new rims here. Just the standard uh, black steel rims that I run. I uh, was disappointed after I got them that they didn't have the center caps. So I gotta get some center caps on there and dress it up a little bit nicer. But these, as you can tell, uh, they are, first off, they are a little wider tire, and they have a four and a quarter uh, inch back spacing, which allows it to set out a little better. And uh, also when you turn, it has, uh, it helped with the clearance issues. However, it did still uh, rub on that front fender, that front fender well. Um, so uh, I had to, had to address that, uh, and which I did. Uh, I did pull the uh, front uh, bumper, plastic bumper, I guess you call it. Uh, pulled that off and uh, trimmed around that. I just took a uh, little grinding wheel, cut right through it, and put it back on. And nothing fancy, like I said. You might have to dress it up a little bit. Uh, later but as you can see here you can see how that the offset on those wheels stick out a little bit um, one bad thing it, it, those tires they do pick up uh, bigger rocks and it will when driving it will uh, flip those rocks out of those treads and uh, throw them I had one flip up and come back and hit the windshield here's the uh, front bumper uh, after I took it off Took that off, popped it off. It wasn't it wasn't really uh, too difficult to pop that off. A few bolts, and basically took out the. Uh, I guess you those are driving lights. They're not blinkers. I cut those out. Uh, just kind of cut that section out, put them back in, and you can see the results there. Okay, so uh, overall, yeah, I'm real pleased with the lift. Uh, like I said, I haven't. Uh, gotten it out into any uh, off-roading or four-wheeling hopefully it's coming up shortly love to get out and get this on the rocks it's just been too hot in Phoenix uh, mid-September it's still 105 out so um, cooler temperatures I'll get them out there get it out there and uh, give it a decent test a little you know crawl walk run type of thing but uh, this next section here I wanted you to listen to the measurements uh, overall uh, gain and height that we got on the lift. Alright. After the lift, back tire, about 37, 36 and a half. Frame. Seventeen three quarters, eighteen just under eighteen. Thirty-six and a half. I got sixteen up front. Um,
10 inches on the pumping. Back. We're at 20. So we increased, overall I increased the lift two inches. I took off two inches of budget boost lift and added four. So that's, after everything's settled, it's been on there for about a month, month and a half. Everything's settled and uh, so we got a solid four inches off of the uh, lift that we put on. And uh, what else? Clearance on the tires. That's about it.